Uh, I don't really like doing videos like this very often. Basically, ever since like the whole Jacksepticeye thing where his dad died and then people were posting like bot comments, like thousands of them about like how they were glad his dad died and stuff. I kind of realized that like as sad as this is, the reason most people don't want to open up on the Internet or like tell people things that are going on in their life or like be real, like not fake, you know, like and not put on a show. The reason most people don't want to is they don't get anything out of it. Like they just get ridicule. They get shit on. Uh, they get a lot of criticism and people don't really care. Cause like, I think when, when someone shows up on a screen and they are talking about anything that's going on with them, I think there's a lot of unhappy people whose like first instinct is to say, now, wait a minute, I've got it hard. This person's complaining. They must be a dick. I got it harder than them. And then they get upset. And maybe that's something that I shouldn't really even care about or think about, but it's, it's something that always comes to mind when talking about real stuff, because I've been wanting for a while again to talk about like depression and kind of some of the stuff going on in my life. Now, when I talk about this stuff, it's never, here's why I have it harder than, than, you know, people going through human rights violations or like war and atrocities. It's just mental problems, you know, and, and it's just life weighing down on you. And I don't have a script. I don't have anything like that. But I guess the reason I wanted to talk about this is when I do talk about this stuff, some of you say that it, it makes you feel better or it makes you feel like you know what that's like. And I I guess I hope that helps somebody in some way. Because lately I've been very, very down. I, I've been very hopeless feeling. And it's not from anything like any one person has said I think I've gotten a lot better at, like, ignoring vitriol directed towards me, for the most part. You know, there's the occasional thing that still lands. Like, that's just part of being human. Somebody says something in real life or, or online or whatever, and it just is like, ow. You know, like, what what the hell is your problem? I don't even know you. Uh, but I think mostly I've gotten better at just kind of not caring as much about that aspect of, like, doing YouTube or being on the Internet or, you know, talking to people. But what's really been weighing me down lately is just like this constant pressure, like this feeling that no matter what I do, it's not good enough for people. And this is where I want to make it clear that like the point of this video is not to make people feel sorry for me. All right. It's just to talk and connect a little bit and hopefully maybe echo some thoughts some other people are having in their own life about different things. You know, maybe you go to work and every day it feels like something's not good enough for your boss. Like you could give 150%, like more than you ever could, and they act like it's 30%. You know, or you, you're you doing your absolute best in school and, and it feels like your parents just don't get it. Maybe they did better than you. Maybe they did way worse than you and, and they're vicariously living through you wanting you to be the A++ student. And that's just not you. You know, you're just doing your best. That's how I've been feeling a lot lately with like work and, and my life. Um, the, you know, I mentioned Jacksepticeye earlier. I'm, I'm going to sound like I'm the hugest Jacksepticeye fan ever. I'm not really, not in like a bad way, uh, but just in like, a, I didn't grow up watching his videos, but I watch them occasionally and, and I think he seems like a nice guy. Um, you know, something that I, I saw from him the other day was posting about depression and it's something that actually made me want to talk about this because I was like, if this guy who's faced waves of harassment, yeah, I know he has money. Okay. Everybody always goes to that immediately. Like they're like, this guy has money. They can't have problems. It's like it, it takes the human out of, out of, out of the person. Uh, but you know, when someone like that, who's like faced all these waves of, of hate can talk about this kind of thing. I was like, why can't I, you know, why, why don't I want to, um, I don't think it's come across in, in my content. Like, I think I've done a pretty good job of like trying to be entertaining, trying to talk about things that I think are fun, uh, you know, trying to make people happy. But like something I've noticed is that here's Jay complaining about his views. Something I've noticed is that like, no matter what I do on this website, it's just not good enough for people. Like it's not interesting enough. There's always something more interesting. Like there's always an art creator with like a better thumbnail, or there's always somebody with something more insightful to say, uh, or like just the YouTube algorithm decides like, eh, screw this guy today. Who cares? Like he's let's, let's, let's post the late show on everybody's feed and not like what they're subscribed to. And for me, 
that's that feeling of like going to work and giving 110% and not getting anything out of it. Um, I've really lately been considering my options on like what I want to do with my life. I, I don't want to quit YouTube, but like every time I upload, I just know it's going to do bad. It doesn't matter what it is. I could post like the most classic degenerate J Arkham thing of all time, and it'll get a fraction of the views it used to. I could post the most insightful video game review ever. Like I could just go back and like dig through my college degree, like find all this stuff to talk about and, and it's just not shown to people. And that's not like the whole crux of like my depression, but it, it's something that's like constantly just like affected me where I'm like, I used to be able to do this and make a living. And I know some people are going to say, well, why don't you just go get a real job? I had real jobs for years, for like a decade. I did real jobs and I have nothing against it. Um, but I've always just felt like I don't really fit in anywhere I go. I've always felt a little bit like the odd one out. And I, I've always felt like, um, I don't, Freddie Mercury used to say something. It was something like, it's, it's not a direct quote, but it was something like depression. It's this feeling of being in a room surrounded by people and still being alone, still being by yourself. And that's honestly how I've always felt. I, I think I do a good job of like putting up a front, trying to be funny, uh, trying to see the good in people and things, trying to um, live my life in a way that gives back to people. I don't have much, and, and this is not a, not a bragging thing. I still do my best to help other people. But I always feel like no matter what I do, no matter how many good things I do, no matter how much I even pray. Now, I know that's an opening for like, r slash atheism to be like ah fuck this guy but like no matter how much i i try and reach out to anything or anyone um you know even even with my religious beliefs like i i believe in god you know and that's it's something i'm i don't ever really get preachy about because i think that that's wrong to do um to push people but like despite my convictions despite my beliefs despite my attempts to help other people despite my attempts to put aside things i want to do to try and make other people laugh and be happy, I feel like it's just never good enough. And it's something that's been like crushing my soul lately. I don't know how else to explain it. It's not anything anyone's saying either. It's never people saying like, this stuff isn't good. You suck. I hate your content. I hate you. People will say that stuff, but mostly now it's kind of like I see that and I'm just like, if you're saying that stuff, you don't really care about me or anyone. You know what I mean? Like you're just a bad person. So I'm usually able to just kind of like navigate past that. It's just the fact that I have been put in this position where I was always told growing up that you should, in America, where I live, follow your dreams and that you will be able to make money at it if you try really hard. And I have been working my ass off for years doing YouTube stuff and I don't really feel like it's going anywhere. I feel like no matter what I do, if I talk about this stuff, people think I'm complaining, they'll unsubscribe, they'll get mad at me, and that's that's fine. I guess I don't want those people anyway, people who are, like, very judgmental. But I feel like no matter what effort I give my work, it's not good enough for, like, this platform. It's not interesting enough to show people. Um, no matter what topic it is, I could go all in on Arkham for three weeks, you know, again, like I used to, um, when I would argue I was just milking it. I know a lot of people want me to go back to that, I wasn't happy. I was just milking stuff for money, I feel like. And even though I cared about it, it was one of those things where it was like, I ran out of stuff to say, but I just kept going because like I wanted to make other people happy and it wasn't making me happy. And so then I did what, you know, my dad, um, who passed a few years ago around this time, which has also definitely affected my depression. What he always said, you know, was like, you, you try really hard and you just keep trying you just keep pushing it's one of the reasons i just keep getting back up when i hit hurdles i did what he said and i did what this country tells me to do and i did what people always tell me to do is like you work hard you will succeed and it's been such a wake-up call seeing how that's not true seeing how no matter how hard you push sometimes things just aren't working and i don't really know what the answer is um, when I went into this, I just wanted to talk about depression and I feel like it, it kind of has already become like a, do I want to keep doing this? People can say whatever they want. I'll have some other people read over the comments first to like weed out some 
insane people who are just mean spirited and that's fine. Um, and I know that, and I knew that when I moved into doing more variety, that there would be people who saw that and who moved in on that niche and, and just did Batman Arkham and that would be their whole brand and they'd be totally happy with that. Some people, they have like very, very focused interests, you know, like they are very okay being in a box and I've never been that way. For me, when I started doing YouTube, it was because it was a way to connect with audiences, to talk to people, to have almost like online friends, which is probably sounds sad, but like that's how I saw it. Um, a way to like make people's lives better, hopefully entertain them mostly for free. I know I have like channel memberships and Patreon and stuff and a Fortnite code DJAY123 and a website. I know I got all that stuff, but like 99% of what I put out is just free content because I, you know, I thought that that was kind of a, a way to reach out to people, hopefully give like a human aspect to, to a, some kind of entertainment where like, it's not all this scripted stuff all the time. It's not all these like news media organizations with some kind of like bias or agenda. Um, it's not like some kind of company trying to push you to think some way. It's just like another person, you know, like when I, when I do degenerate plays, my let's play channel, the, the whole goal was always like, hang out with your friends on the couch and play games, you know, like kind of like what the game grumps, uh, at least started as I know a lot of people don't like them now. I still think they're funny, but like, um, you know, that, that classic vibe or like super best friends play or things like that. Um, where it's like, we hang out, we're playing a game. We got some talking and joking and then there's comments and I answer the comments and I interact with these people and I get to know them better. That's how I always wanted that channel. That's how I wanted degenerate J uh, as well with a different style of content. And I guess for me, it's one of those things where like, seeing not seeing results on the stuff I'm doing, you know, and making it's not all about money, but like making less money each year to the point where it's not livable. And then whenever I bring that up being told, well, then you're not grateful. You should just go do this. Or like, you should be more grateful or like, screw you. Um, because you can't have problems online. If you do, you're a whiner. I guess all that stuff together, it's just really kind of weighed me down. You know where I'm like, I've got stuff going on. I can't talk about it because if I do, then I just get such a wave of vitriol that it makes my depression worse. And then it's a cycle. So I should just pretend I have nothing going on, pretend I'm not a real person, and just keep cranking stuff out. And that's not working for me. And I don't really know what will. You know, I know I've made a video like this before, probably a few times over the years. I don't really have any interest in quitting YouTube. Like, I, I really don't. Um, but it does seem like YouTube has an interest in me quitting. Do you know what I mean by that? Like, where my audience doesn't see my stuff. The stuff I do put out is is constantly under ridicule or ending up on Reddit or somewhere where, like, people pick it apart. And I just wanted to do this to have fun and hopefully be able to make just a decent, normal, not PewDiePie level, obviously. I don't expect to be huge um, living because it's something I could do with my disabilities. It's something I could do despite having really bad chronic depression, despite having a really bad anxiety disorder, uh, despite having fibromyalgia, erythromyalgia, other myalgias. Like I'm like a fucking walking myalgia Petri ditch dish. Um, despite all of that, it was something that I could do and, and connect with these guys. And I don't know, like, I know it's okay to feel this way, and that's something that I that I do want to stress. Like, it's okay to have depression. It's okay to feel down. Um, to me, the most important thing is always trying to get back up. You know, something that Kevin Conroy said that really connected with me. He probably didn't even write it, I know. it was, But he, he did echo these statements all the time in his cameos and in fan interactions and stuff. But something that I remember his Batman said in Justice League, I believe Unlimited was, you know, when he was criticized for not having powers, he said that his one power was never giving up. You don't have any special powers. Oh, I have one, Johnny. I never give up. And that's something that I always wanted to embody, something I always wanted to be. Something I still want to be is I never want to give up on my life, on the people around me, on my dreams. But it sometimes feels like my dreams have given up on me. And I guess I don't really know how to rationalize that. I don't really know what to do going forward. 
there could be an upload tomorrow. There could be one a couple days from now. I don't really know the schedule on how I'm going to do stuff because for me, when I'm not creating things um, or talking to you guys, I don't really feel fulfilled, you know? But I notice like the economy is just bad for me. Um, I make a fifth of the living I used to. My chronic pain and and my disability issues, my physical disability issues get worse every year. Um, I've tried to get in better shape. I've tried to do better. Some of you noticed that I lost some weight, which I appreciate. Um, it's really hard for me, though, to continue pushing when it feels like 150% isn't good enough. And anytime I back off to just 130 or something and, and give myself a little bit of a break, it's even worse. I don't really know. I know it's okay to feel this way. I know that there is hope. I know that there is hope out there. There are many paths to happiness. I know that there are many people that care about me. There are many people who care about you out there. And I know a lot of people already clicked off. They unsubscribed. They disliked. They got mad. They thought this guy's just bitching. And that's that's fine. That's I can't control the way other people react to my life. But I'm a real person, just like I know you are. And I do think sometimes it's good to talk about these things, just at the very least to make myself feel like, you know what, at least people know what's going on. Um, and I appreciate all of you who do care about me very much. I uh, I need to find a better balance. I need to find ways to be happy. I think I need to do a better job of like connecting with the people around me instead of just pushing my work, because pushing my work is not working. It's... I'm not making a living. I'm not doing well. Um, I could put in 500% or 10% and I'm not seeing results. And that's one of those things where I'm starting to realize, like when I was young, I was like, why do people just quit trying? Like, why? how could you ever hit the point where you quit trying? And I'm starting to understand why uh, a lot of people who try very hard do quit the do hit the point where they just quit trying whatever they're doing and just say, eh. well, the world doesn't reward effort anyway, so who cares? Um I think that hitting my lows has made me more empathetic, I hope. And I do think that there's something good for me around the corner. I just don't know what yet. So I'm interested to hear your thoughts down below. I think there's something good for you around the corner, too. I think that, you know, I've talked about it before, but like, obviously ending your existence or, or exiting the planet or things like that, they are permanent solutions to problems that can change, that can be fixed, that can be circumvented. So I want you to know that that's not something you have to worry about with me. Uh, but I am just very at the end of my rope for for my patience, for my hope. And I need to find a way to claw out of it and get back up again. Because that's what I was raised to do. That's what my heroes do. And that's what I want you to do. No matter what your problem is right now. And I don't mean to patronize at all. I'm not saying my problem is worse than yours. I have people in this audience who can't even get out of bed because of their chronic pain. My point is not to say that my problems are worse. My point is to say that everybody's problems are different, everybody handles them differently, and I think it's important to always get back up, no matter what it is. And that's what I'm gonna try and do, whatever form that takes. And I appreciate those of you who have watched. I appreciate you very much. I'm sorry this is a little long, and I hope it's not too long so it can actually upload today. So thank you for watching, I appreciate you.